Hello everybody. So I'm just coming in a little early. Got my ice cream and my coffee and then we're gonna have us a, a little art show. So let's just wait for people to join me. Mm. It's really good. tablet device and it's hard to see in the daylight. Anyways, so I encourage you to get get your favorite beverage, kick back. I'm gonna show you some art here soon. One minute to go. Hi Kim. Oh I'm so glad you joined me. At least I have some person to talk to and I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> Yay! Um I haven't figured out the message thing yet. I keep trying. Let me see. So I'm hoping I'll be able to see comments. Oops. Nope. Maybe as they come in, I'll try to watch for that. But it's hard for me to see on the screen. There's a glare. So, um, <laughs> it's officially two. So I'm going to begin. I am at the Daily Grind. Welcome, welcome, you're watching. I'm outside, it's gonna be noisy at times, coming and going. Um, I have my coffee, which I love, and I have the ice cream. So this is my art first art show of 2021. And I'm gonna eat ice cream while I do it. I hope you have some kind of yummy treat that you are sharing right now. So let's do some art. First, I want to welcome you. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to showcase six pieces. Um, of the six pieces, four of them will be here at the Daily Grind. Two of them are brand new. Hi, Mitzi. Two of them are brand new, fresh out of my studio. So fresh, the paint is still wet and drying, so it was kind of risky. <laughs> it was kind of... Hi, Alan. Oh my gosh. Back in the day, Alan Andrick, how are you? Um, hi, Donna. <sighs> so, the two of the paintings, I just said, what the heck, I'm bringing them in wet. They have not been sealed. I have to take them back to my studio. They will be available to purchase. Talk about fresh out of the studio. Okay, and um, all six that I'm gonna show you today are exclusively priced. Um, the six that are here, if you are watching online, you can click on the link that I put in the description and it will take you to a page where you can purchase these at the sale price today, which is 25% off. These six, just these six. Now, here's a really cool deal. So listen to this one. Up from now until the end of April, if you come in, if you are able to physically come in, hey Heather, um, if you're able to come into the Daily Grind and you order a coffee or your favorite beverage, whatever that is, and an ice cream, like I've got, everything hanging on their wall, and I've got like, what, almost 20 pieces here, everything will be 25% off to you on that day, you can take it with you. This goes through the month of April. But if you're not able to get to the daily grind, you have a week where um, that link that's attached to this will um, take you to the sale page for these six only. Um, and then you could get on my website if you want. And please sign up for my newsletter, that would be great. So I am going to get started. So remember, coffee plus ice cream, coffee, ice cream, 25% off any of the art that's hanging here that is mine. It's 20 pieces for an entire month this is gonna be happening. You could make someone very happy or yourself. All right, so I'm gonna start. Um, here's the first one. This is titled Up, Up, and Away. I'm gonna have a hard time with the reflections and the big trucks going by. This is an oil painting on canvas 
It's a gallery wrap type canvas. It is ready to hang. It, <laughs> and you'll see some of my studio struggle on the back. I kind of like that. I could get really fancy, I guess, and make the backs look even better. This one's ready to go. Now, when I painted this one, I was feeling very whimsical. I was wanting to play with yellow. Um, I had an artist friend in California, and she dances with yellow so beautifully. And I really, oh, there, I can, I can see the screen. I know it's weird looking, but um, so in this one, it's just about feeling like you're up in the blooms, and yet I kind of liked some of the transparency that was going on in the balloons. You see what I'm talking about? I like that a lot. So that caught my fascination with this one. Oh, here go my allergies. Now my eyes are watering. So I was playing with atmosphere, yellow, and then the idea of balloons and the magic of a balloon flight. Uh, I haven't been on a hot air balloon ride, but I'm gonna go one day. And I love flying anyway, and to me it is always an adventure. So that's what this piece is about. Now, let me share with you, here it is. This piece was originally, I know, I'll tell you, I've got it written right here. Oh, it is regularly 450 bucks, but on sale today, with this live art sale, it's 25% off, which is 338 bucks, that's it. It's a 24 by 24 original oil painting, sealed and ready to go for way less than its original sticker price, the value price I put on it. So anyways, so that was number one. And it's called, remember, Up, Up and Away. This is number one. Okay, so if you, you'll find it on that page if you go to the link, or it will be back up on the wall here at the Daily Grind, um, and you can purchase it there, 25% off. If you can't, if you miss getting on the link and you really want this piece, there are two different ways you could get it. Let's hope two different people don't try to get it at the same time. Didn't think that one through. All right, here's the second one. This is number two. This is called Balloons in the Valley. I took it out of its plastic, it, can't, it comes in a plastic sleeve envelope, right? This is a soft pastel painting on sanded paper. Now I'm gonna share a crazy secret with you. I'm not that experienced with pastels, so when I did this one, it was the first time I'd ever played on sanded paper. It's a thick type paper and it's like very fine sand paper on the front and it just yummy yummy ate up with soft pastels. It was so fun to work on. I did almost push it too far, which is my usual thing. Right? So balloons in the valley. Now this one is regularly 190 bucks, but with the 25% off today it's uh 142.50 so for 142 bucks and some change you could have this pastel and it's a 12 by 18 which is a standard size if you're going to get it matted and framed so that was the second one all right let's see the third one is oh, i gotta get it wait a minute i'll be right back pull it off the wall. <laughs> this one is so fun. This is number three. This is called It's Raining Cows. So I'm obviously in my hot air balloon series when you're when you're looking at these. But this one I had for a while and it was at first it was just about the cows. But then I, I just kind of got stuck with it with just the cows and as I was working on the hot air balloon series, this one suddenly caught my eye and I said, oh my gosh. So I got to put balloons in with the cows. So 
it still shares the feeling of what I think a cow must feel like when they're standing out in the field when it's raining on them. But I got my hot air balloons in there too. Hence the name, it's raining cows. It could be raining on them, but it's raining cows. I like this one, it still carries the whimsical um, hot air balloon feel to it. This is an oil painting um, that is on a, a canvas board. You know, the panel, not a gallery rack canvas. But um, it does come with the frame. So on this one, with the frame, it's 360 bucks regularly. Um, if you can catch it on sale, either today through the link, if you're watching online, or, hey Tabby, <laughs> um, you could come here through the month of April. It'll be on the wall if no one else buys it, has bought it. And um, if you buy a coffee and an ice cream, you get the 25% off again, right? If you can't physically get here, you're gonna have to try to catch that link if you want this one. This would be so cute in a nursery or someone's in a bedroom, in a bathroom. A guest bath, isn't that cute? But at 25% off, it's quite a steal, I think. Okay, any questions so far? I don't even know if I can see it. <laughs> I see you guys watching. Did someone message me something, like comment or something, and I'll see if I can see it. I'm on this a new device, so I don't know where things are. Okay. Somebody make a comment. <laughs> All right, you ready for the next one? Let's see. So I have shown you one, two, three. Let's see what we got. Yep. So the fourth one is this. Oops. Excuse me, I'm sorry, the allergies are crazy here for me. Um, this one is still wet, <laughs> but it has quite the story to it. This is, it started as a soft pastel and it ended up a mixed media <sighs> on a piece of paper. Now listen, this piece of paper is ridiculous very big, right? I think it's an 18 by 24. So I was just playing with soft pastels because this paper, I kept moving it around my studio. It kept getting in my way and I got irritated at it. And I'm like, fine, I'm just going to draw on you. This is a true story. Sad but true. Look, I'm eating my ice cream because it's melting. Brad Pitt can eat in his movies. <laughs> I just don't look as good doing it. Okay, so I got mad, picked up the paper, taped it down, and started having at it with pastels. And then I started liking what I was doing. Then about halfway through working the surface for the first time, I realized it was huge as a pastel. I don't know much about pastels. They're always an adventure for me. And then I got stuck again because it got very, um, to me, like storybook illustration type thing. I hope y'all can hear me with all the traffic noise. Anyways, um, so it got it stayed stuck for a while, and then I started drawing on it with pencil, and then whew, I took oil paint. I said to myself in my studio alone in a pandemic, I said, "Hmm, oh, I wonder if you can put oil paints on pastels. You can put oil paints on top of acrylic paints." So you know what? I gave it a try. And I thought, what the heck? All I'm gonna lose is the piece of paper that I was chasing around my studio anyway. But with pencil, soft pastel, and oil paint, I've created this piece. And this one is called um, Setting You Free in the gentle, on the Gentle Breeze. Setting You Free on the Gentle Breeze because that's what I feel like these kids are doing, these girls. You know? And I do want it to feel like the freedom of playing in an afternoon. Maybe you're skipping chores. Maybe you ran out of school early. Oh, no, wait, that was just me probably skipping. Anyways, I wanted the balloons to be magical, to feel magical. I'm really fighting the table and everything. 
So I really liked it. It turned out, which was a big surprise to me. This one started off kind of a real pain in the butt, and then it kind of worked itself out for me. Pleased with that. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so this one is 420 bucks regularly, and at 25% off, you could get this for 315 bucks. It's the JIT original art. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put this one here, but it's probably going to blow on me. Ready? For the next one that is also wet. Still drying, has to be sealed. Is this one. And this one is called Into the Morning Light. This is also one that hung on my wall for a while in my hot air balloon series, and I just finished it, like literally. Woo! Oh yeah, wet. Um, the whites stay wet far longer. So, I don't know. This one, again, I was playing with pencil and glow paint, and I just really needed this one to feel, feel space, feel the perspective, the distance. I wanted to be able to float forever and forever away in this piece and it just took me a little while to figure out what to do with that. Um, it's big. This is a big one. Um, and it originally sells for 480 bucks. Big. But you can get it for 360 at 25% off. Like, and that's, that doesn't hurt me. Shoot. And I know my artwork's not priced very high, but I'd rather it be affordable and be in someone's space decorating their world for them than to price it so high only a few people could ever have it. That's ridiculous. <sighs> so again, this one is, I've, I've got to finish the edges. Like I've got to paint the edges. Oh my goodness. It is. It will be ready to hang, but it also needs to be sealed, just like um, the setting you free. This one, the mixed media, that has to finish drying, and, and then I seal them so they're not ready. But they are purchasable, but they just need like two weeks of drying, I think. Two weeks of drying, and they can go to their new home. And I would ship them or deliver them to you. Okay, so I have introduced two brand new pieces. I have showcased three that were here, one I had to run and get. Um, let's see where everybody is. Let me check these. I just figured out some things. Oh, Mitzi, thank you. Yes, you commented, said hello, and I see it. Hello back. So if you guys have any questions, you're watching. If you have any questions, ask. If I don't know the answer, I'll try to find an answer or make one up. All right, last painting to show you. And then I have a secret special surprise to tell you. It has nothing to do with this 25% off. It's a totally separate, very cool thing coming up that I'm excited about. A little scared of, but excited. Okay, so this is called The Sounds of Frozen. And it was in the series that I did over a three day period, three, four day period. And it was when we had that crazy snowstorm, uh, uh, ice sleet storm they were calling for, you know, and everybody's panicking and prepping and getting water. And I'd help us, toilet paper and more water again, right? Preparing to be out of power for a week. We lose power a lot. We did not lose power during this particular storm, but I am telling you what, we were iced over for a long time and it just had a hard time melting where I where we are. Um, so when I posted these on Facebook, this particular one, which was the least of my favorite of the Frozen series that I did, this got so much attention, um, and which caught me off guard. This is always how things work for me. It was, I think, this tur turquoise color that just kept popping, I guess, to people, and they really liked it. So this is, and this is what I walked out 
we still weren't thawed. And when you walked across the stuff at a certain point, it made such a crazy, crunchy, cold sound, right? So that's why this one's name is Sounds of Frozen. And what I did with this winter series that I did just recently is um, I would walk back and forth from my house to the studio for various reasons. And I would experience the terrain around me, the frozenness around me, and then I would go paint what it felt like. Um, sometimes footprints would catch me. This one, it was the crunch, like as I would hit the top of the sleet, crunch through it into the snow. Like it was the craziest mix of frozen stuff we'd ever had. It made such a sound. And then if you stopped moving and stepping and crunching, then you could hear this other coldness. Here comes an ambulance. I'm real sorry about that. Hang on. Hang on. Ooh. Sorry about that. Okay, this one is regularly 280 bucks. It does come with this refurbished frame. Listen, I do frames, old frames, antique frames, goodwill frames, and I will refurbish them. I think it's very cool. It is on, um, this is very cool too. It's on a canvas board, but it's a really old canvas board. I swear I think it was an antique, and I don't even remember what was on it. I think it was something I thought was ugly. So I painted over it several times. Um, this frame has been distressed. Some of those distress marks are uh, legit. It's just got the Y. It's ready to hang on the back. It's not fancy. It's just in there. So. 210 bucks, this could be yours. What? That's a good deal. Anyway, okay. So if you have questions, please let me know. I have just learned so much on this new app, this new uh, device. <laughs> okay, so here's what I want to talk to you about, right? I'm going to remind you again. Listen, coffee plus ice cream gives you 25% off. All the artwork that you see displayed in here in the Daily Grind, and you just take it off the wall, pay for it, and take it with you that day. This will go on all through the month of April. And then it'll be over. And that's how that's gonna work. Now I wanna talk to you about Mother's Day. May I, may I. Mother, may I. I have an idea. So, in the month of April, will take commissions from people for an oil pastel flower painting to give to your mother or whatever, whomever the mother figure is in your world or whomever you're celebrating. And instead of buying them fresh flowers, which will wilt, right? And then get thrown out. Why wouldn't you give them a, an original painting of their favorite flower the only caveat is, it will be my interpretation. Like, you don't get to pick, oh, and I want you to make it blah, blah, blah. You could say, oh, I love a certain color, or she loves, and maybe. But let me show you what I've done. So let's say your mom loves daisies. This is an oil pastel. It's a little five by seven. It will come to you matted and in a plastic sleeve, and you just pull it out, you pop it in a frame. It's an oil pastel, so I think you could just leave it as is. Um, if you want to put it under glass in the frame, and it's a standard, these are small frames, like you can pick them up, they're cheap, right? So um, for Mother's Day, what I'm gonna do is set up a special uh, gallery on my website where people can order or request a commission. It will involve you, you having to email or message you the type of flower. What if they like sunflowers? Isn't that fun? And no two flowers. Let's say five people commission sunflower drawing, painting. Those five will not be the same. They will all be very different. Each one will be an original, I promise. Now, 20, 25 bucks. For 25 bucks you can do this. This is my day of 25s. What if they love um, grape hyacinths? or little pink hyacinths, right? I could almost use that for um, lilacs, but I don't think so. That's more of a hyacinth, those sweet smelling flowers. So consider this, 
think about it. Um, for Mother's Day, it would be a great thing for you to do. And instead of giving fresh flowers, give them a an original piece of art of their favorite flower for $25 only. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I will, Thank you. I will let you all know more about the Mother's Day commission thing as I develop it. Um, still working on that page on my website. So you'll see the button there, but it says coming soon. You click it and nothing happens yet. So I'm not quite set up totally for it yet. But you will be able to request a commission for Mother's Day. And I'm, I'll talk more. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous and scared. I don't normally do commissions. They don't work out well for me. But in this one, the only control you'll have is the type of flower. And maybe if you could request a color or so. Maybe. But the rest of it will be all up to me. And it'll be my interpretation of how that flower smells or feels or makes me feel or how I feel that day. That kind of thing. So it's kind of scary for you, too. I can't imagine purchasing, asking, requesting one, and then you get it and you're like, ooh. So, I will, I will try to work around that. Work around. Um, thank you for watching. You guys are the best. Mwah, the best. Uh, Daily Grind. I hope you have an opportunity to come in here and chat with Sam and, or Allison, whoever's working. And you have your coffee. You can eat ice cream or just coffee or your tea. And you can browse the gallery wall. It's just right there. All their indoor seating is out here at the moment. Um, they haven't fully opened up inside. But they've been here a long time and they're a coffee and ice cream shop. Perfect combination. You can get, um, get coffee beans here. And they're really good. I love their coffee. So I invite you to come on site if you can. If you can't, get online, click on that link in the description and if you want to purchase one of the six pieces I showcased today, then do it. Um, but if you do it from the page, the link that's attached to this video, this live, you'll get the 25% off. If you just go to my website, you won't see that sale of pricing. So you have to use this specific link, or you just have to come up here and drink coffee and eat ice cream and get 25% off whatever's hanging here. The two new ones that I brought will not be here. They have to go back to my studio so I can seal it. All right, I am going to sign off. It's been just a little shy of 30 minutes and I'm excited that I have people to talk to. I hope you enjoyed the show. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the pieces. Um, they're 25% off, that's a quarter off their price. It feels good, I like that, I like that a lot. So. Let me know if you are interested. All right, guys. Everybody, I will talk to you later. See you later in the replay. <laughs>